afternoon or evening. What is up? My name is Marta. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Volus Vibes. Starting off with maybe a change that some of you might have seen if you watch this uh, channel regularly. We changed vlog to live doc because I think vlog, we don't do video blogs. We don't walk around the entire time like this, at least most of the time, but still. Vlog is also a word that is not appreciated anymore as much as it used to, for example, because yeah, there are millions of vloggers in the world. How are you guys doing? We're doing very fine. It's a one take, so we're just gonna take about 10 minutes of our lives here on Greek Easter. In the past, we've done videos that were full, full length of like the way that we were going to grill and all that kind of stuff. That's also why I closed the door on the other side right now because it's super stinky. Super smelly otherwise inside the house. It's an amazing day. I have to show you guys. Look. Look at that. Look, there's barely... This morning there were no clouds in the sky. But now it is so beautiful. So cool. Durek's also with us. And he's enjoying the bamboo for a second. Huh? Pupas. Where are you going? Dude. I think you should not eat bamboo. I don't know if it's that good for you. So let's get back inside. Let's get you back in. No! You don't want to go inside, huh? No. Here. There's your food. And a little bit of Jason's food as well. Because Jason is not eating that well, huh? We've had a little bit of a situation the last couple of days. Because, uh, or last couple of days. It started about two days ago. Oh, Elena's also here. Hello. Hello. Hello, say hello to the live doc and the one takes Andy. Hello to boss. Hello. hello. Live doc. You know that we're doing live doc, right? No, what's that? Another word for vlog live documentary because we yeah no i'm still i'm still okay um Fuck off now. no give me, one <laughs> give me one second because i think it's actually perfect for you to be in the shot right now as well because we did not have the nicest night the day before yesterday right no and neither did we have a last evening did we no, because our little monster here you can see him wait look at his face does this face look like a healthy boy <laughs> we've got boogers yeah jason We've got boogers. Yeah, yesterday we rushed to the doctor's office, yeah? I'll show you. So to get you the full, full story, it started, like I said, two days ago. Oh, my glasses are dirty. It started two days ago and um, he was like, yeah. He was all the time having boogers and everything. Becoming very, very frustrated pretty much because he was choking almost. Give me one second. I can't see through these glasses. Really, really bad. Like, can you see it? No, huh? It's because I put my glasses on my head. In my hair, there's still a little bit of gel remains, so and they become very dirty. ADD, I literally get from one point to the other. <laughs> okay, so, also this is the prettiest angle, like this, huh? We were trying to get him to bed, I believe, and he did not want to sleep, he did not want to sleep, and we're just, we were just chilling a little bit, and he, he did not eat well already the last couple of days, and he was a little bit like, well, frustrated, that was a palm tree that I just almost knocked over. And we were like, yeah, what should we do then? What can we do about this? Eventually, f finally, we just uh, tried to keep him food, keep it, uh, words. We tried to give him food. We tried to make sure that he felt nice. We tried to breastfeed all the time. Or Ilona tried, of course, because I cannot breastfeed. And we thought everything would be fine eventually. But last afternoon, last afternoon, he uh, started crying out loud, loud and being frustrated so much that we called the doctor and he was like choking all the time in the slime. He was collecting so much slime in his throat all the time that I didn't know exactly what to do. We were afraid as parents and grandma was like, yeah, don't worry about it. He can have something. I'm like, yeah, okay. I, Look, the fire is right here, by the way. We're, we're going to grill in a second. No arnaki, by the way. No, no sheep or any goat. But to make a very long story short, we had to call another doctor because our doctor is in Volus right now and we cannot just drive to Volus because it's almost a three hour drive. So we found some doctor that was available yesterday and he luckily helped us. And that was the footage also from there that we, we were there. He checked him from top to toe, all the way uh, up and down. And it was uh, all good, he said. All good except for he's got a little bit of an inflammation in his throat around his vocal cords and it can be many reasons it can be smoke from the fireplace it can be a little bit of an allergy because there's so much greenery here around because the day that we went to school of aristotelos there was 
literally so much stuff going around and so much like dust in the air everywhere you look right now not everywhere anymore but all these trees these ones they, they start growing growing you know but all the fruit trees here in the neighborhood they all have flowers and they just drop their flowers or still like You've just got this dust that comes off. Anyway, it could be that. It could be a lot of things. It could be just simply a virus, but at least it's got a little bit of an inflammation in the back. So at this moment, we're trying to make the best of it. Let's put it like that. Right now he has boogers all the time. He's got some drops for his throat. I'm sure in the comments, everybody's going to be saying like, oh, parastica, parastica, parastica. He'll be fine. We'll, we'll just knock on wood. Wait, let's find some wood. Here's a wood. Here's a day pole, electricity pole. See? They knock on wood. So yeah, we uh, our, our Easter was a little bit like upside down all the way. But now we're getting ready for food. And I thought, you know what, because it is Easter, I don't want to make it a complete one take Sunday. But at this moment, I just want to show you what we're doing. I'm literally a little bit hanging around the house, editing, playing with Jason, making sure that we help each other out a little bit. There's not much that I can do here because in all honesty, my parents-in-law and they don't let me do anything because they say well you're a guest and at this moment you're just staying in our house and eat <laughs> pretty much now nah, let's let's roll some easter b-roll of uh, grandpa and grandma see there she is she doesn't show us as that she doesn't want to be in the vlog but secretly she likes it also beautiful weather by the way Jason's first Easter egg. He's gonna have red hands, by the way. Ah. Huh? Okay, see. Bravo! I didn't know that Jason had four hands. Martin, Jason. Oh, Jason. Time to eat. Look, we're on, we're not we're family. Only family sitting here chilling. Yeah, your brother's missing though. Where is he? Eating. Eating also with friends, probably. Yeah. Jason is sitting with his grandma, sneezing all over the place. And uh, what I just showed you, this is like with the red egg. It's a tradition, you know. You, these are white eggs, of course, from the inside. They are painted very nicely. Definitely watch the older vlogs. If you, I'll put the links up there and in the description as well. You knock the egg for good luck, and the one that wins has like good luck. A lot of good luck in this uh, Greek culture. Now though, for me, the best luck is to have a nice glass of uh, Terpsis from Nausa, it's like gazoza. How do you call it in English? Like a Sprite, yeah, like a Sprite actually. It's like Sprite, but not at all like Sprite in taste. It's like bubble, bubble gum, yeah, it's like bubble gum. And it's very nicely if you drink it with Razzina Malamatina, which is a Razzina kind of wine.
before you know it, the car is back in this, in this parking spot and you're going to go for a little walk around in the evening because look, the sky is amazing. It was a perfect Easter day. I, a lot of people were scared that it was going to be the weather like yesterday where it was like full, full rain and storm and all that kind of stuff in the afternoon. It was beautiful. You hear a lot of kids playing outside by the way now. It's nice. Psst, 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 psst. So funny, this kitty cat you can call from so far away. Psst, 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 psst. You like it to be petted, huh? Yeah, you like to be. You're a very friendly kitty cat. You know that, right? So film in the right correction. Yes. The dog in the background barking that was very annoying. Don't show me your butt, please. Look at her. <laughs> Such a good kitty. But right now behind me, I'm being almost attacked from the back. Look at this. The cat is going to run away in a second because these dogs behind me, they are not as friendly, especially not the Labrador. Is what has been told to me. See, that's where they said. So let's go back behind the gate. It's what happens when uh, you have an area like this where there's not a lot of houses, but it's a good place for dogs to still hang around because they can have their place to sleep. They sleep here in the back in the field. Anyway, that's going to be it for the for this live dog. Like I said, let me know your opinion about like not calling this anymore a vlog, but our live documentation, our our live documentary, just a live doc. I think it's kind of cool. No longer vlog. This was a little live documentation of our Easter. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below because I love to read and we always reply. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next one.